Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. And today I'm in the new version of Photoshop Elements 2022. And I'm pleased to introduce you to the new Warp Tool. Um, this is something that's been in um, Photoshop CC for, for quite a while. And it finally comes to Photoshop Elements. We don't have every feature from the Creative Cloud version like um, split uh, split warp but we have um, both of everything for custom warp and for the for the presets so i have this uh, photo already open of a contemporary dancer and the way we access the warp tool is from the menu image transform and warp and as you can see we get this um, overlay and we can simply drag within the um, within the grid to um, to affect the um, the image, and we can also tweak it by using these bezier handles to, um, to 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 make the image exactly how we want it warped or um, or distorted. Well, I'm going to click the green check mark. I think you get the um, get the idea, and um, I'll show you another example shortly. But for those who like um, keyboard shortcuts, you can access the warp tool by pressing Control T for, um, for for transform and then simply click on this warp button here or you can after pressing Control T right click and choose warp that way so that's a little tip for those who like keyboard shortcuts so this next example I'm going to add a family photo to a drinking cup so let's just open the drinking cup first in the main window and then I'm going to drag the baby photo on top. And there it comes in on its own layer as you can see from the layer panel top right. So I'm going to press Ctrl T again just to transform this and basically um, scale the size to, um, to make it more acceptable to the, um, to the size of the cup. And there we have it. And I'm going to right click and choose warp simply by dragging into um, into position basically to follow the, the contours of the cup. I don't want it to go right to the edge. I think I'll leave a little bit of um, the blue showing so we can actually see the um, the cup. Not absolutely perfect, but I'm doing this quite um, quickly just for the purpose of this demo. I think I'm going to click here and pull down this um, this center point just to give the impression of it wrapping around the cup, and just a little tweak on the bottom in a similar similar fashion. And I think that will do. Once you've actually um, uh, you know got the shape that you want. You can click in the center and 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 re, re you know re change the perspective and um, make it exactly how you feel happy with it. Something like that I think is good. So I'm going to click the uh, green check mark to um, to commit that. And um, so you can um, you can play around with this as you know as long as you want and um, perfect it to your own taste. A similar technique I've used with this um, wine bottle and I have um, a label image open also and um, I've, I've dragged it up onto the bottle and I'm going to just um, switch this eyeball back on again and there you go, you get the idea. It's a similar technique to the um, the baby and the, and the cup. This next image has some lens distortion um, on the building closest to the lens. So we could try and use the warp tool to um, correct the distortion. What I'm going to do is first of all select the marquee tool, the rectangular marquee, and I'm going to draw a rectangle around this first first building, like that. And then I'm going to press Control J, which will place it as a new layer. Um, so if I press now Control T for transform, you can see we're only working on this part of the image. None of the remaining image will be affected. So I'm going to click, right click on the um, transform box and choose warp. And let's just see if we can 
start moving things around, make it look a little bit better. And already that's looking looking better. Let's try and do something on this left hand edge and bring this in just a little bit. And I think that's pretty good actually, just um a few a few clicks and drags. Maybe maybe just bring this down a little bit because it looks a little bit elongated on the front compared to the others. And that will do. So I'm, I've done that quite quickly. I'm going to click the um, check mark to commit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer mask now because um, um, you can see this white layer mask and I'm making sure that the um, foreground chip is set to black and then I'm going to choose a brush tool um, because I've probably included part of the foreground in the um, selection. As you can see I'm painting back in the original image by by going over this with a black a black brush. Maybe a little bit of the sky needs to be see the clouds coming back in. I've gone too far there, I've brought some of back back of the original roof, so I need to switch the colour to white and paint that back out again with a white with a white brush. We don't need that. And just a little bit down here also came in. One tiny click there. And I think that's fine. It's just really to um, demonstrate how you can use this warp tool and um, lots of possibilities really for um, correcting distortion or for, for adding distortion. So I have these two images open. Um, one of a woman sitting on the beach and um, another one of palm trees. And I'm going to attempt to use the photo of the palm trees as a reflection in the sunglasses. So let's drag this up and it gets placed and I'm going to press Ctrl T and transform it to a smaller size just by dragging the corner handles of the, the transform box. Start with the top left then go to bottom right and that's probably something I can work with. Just drag it up. I'm going to have to um, reduce the opacity of this um, layer so that I can see the outline below of the rim of the glasses. Um, and that's when I can start to use the warp tool. So let's right click and choose warp and see if I can manipulate this into the, into the, into the frames. Just really trial and error and nudging into into place. As you see, I've done that quite quickly. It's not it's not perfect, but if I click in the middle now, I should be able to rearrange the perspective of the um, of the palm trees. And it kind of looks like a tropical beach reflection, I think. Let's click the check mark. That's not too bad at all, actually, um, for a, for a quick attempt. I'm going to press Control J now to duplicate that and drag it across now from the left to the right using the using the move tool. I haven't got that selected. Move tool, okay. And drag that to the other lens. And we'll have to do some manipulation again. Control T to um, bring up the transform tool and then right click to choose warp. And this is a slightly different shape on the left hand side as you would expect. And let's click the check mark. And there we have a couple of reflections. I mean as you can see it's not perfect. You it would take you more time to um, to make it perfect. But um let's click on the hand tool and get rid of the bounding boxes. So having completed that, not quite perfectly, I need to go back to the Layers panel and change the opacity back to 100%. So 
So that takes care of the right hand lens and need to select the layer below and again increase the opacity back to 100%. And there we have it. Um, tropical beach reflections in sunglasses. Um, just to give an indica indication of the sort of things that are possible with the new warp tool. Before I finish this uh, demo, I just wanted to point out that um, the warp tool is not just limited to images and um, compositing. We can also use it to warp text and also shapes in Photoshop Elements. So I've already typed this greeting, Happy New Year 2022. So let's press Control T for transform and then right click and choose warp. Now. For warp, we have all these presets that we can use. I quite like this arc or arch, and you can see the kind of effect that you can um, you can get. And um, you can keep experimenting with all the different um, presets that are um, available. You could have a lower arc, and that would change it to something like that. Um, what else might work with with this? Uh, a wave. A wave is quite uh, a, a good effect. So that's something we can do with um, with, with text. Let's choose something from the um, the shape tool. Let's just draw an arrow, and let's um, again go to Control T and right click and choose Warp, and let's apply one of the um, well, yeah, it gives it a nice kind of um, smoothness to the um, to the arrow and uh, click on that and all get, that gets rid of all the bounding boxes. You would have to flatten the image to get rid of any kind of edge jaggies. So let's go to layer and flatten the image. Let's try with another shape and choose a star shape. Drag out the star. And let's go to Control T and right click and choose warp and then choose one of the presets. Um, I think on this one we'll choose Twist. That's quite a good effect actually. Um, what I want to say here is that um, we can actually fine tune all of these um, transform warps by clicking on any of these words. So for example, if I click on the word vertical, you will see I get this scrubby slider and I can move to the left or I can move to the right and that will change the overall look. And the same with horizontal, and the same with bend. You can go left or right, and all these will have an effect. So that's just something else to, um, to point out before I leave. But I hope you like this new warp tool in um, Photoshop Elements 2022. Have fun using it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>